Well, ministers have taken the decision to close the bridge uh, on expert advice, which is uh, the bridge carries some risk, and the more traffic that was running over it, it would have compounded a structural fault that's been identified because of the, the age of the bridge. It can be repaired, uh, and that's why we can close the bridge to carry out the repair as quickly as possible to ensure both public safety and the sustainability of the bridge. I appreciate there's an impact on the travelling public and the uh, local communities, and that's why we're working with all key partners to try and limit the impact around congestion that will be inevitable because of the displacement of tens of thousands of vehicles. So we're working on strengthening public transport through bus prioritisation potentially, and also extra rail carriages uh, to try and support the, the rail system to get people to continue moving during very challenging circumstances. And what is your message to the general public? Well, if it's at all possible, uh, avoid uh, travelling. If it's necessary uh, to travel, travel by public transport, uh, if possible, and if using the car, can we look at car sharing? Uh, employers, I think, should be sympathetic of the circumstances at the moment as we undertake this uh, necessary work, and we'll share information through a dedicated website as well as the Traffic Scotland, uh, Twitter and other sources uh, of information. And again, I appreciate the patience of the travelling public in what's very challenging times uh, whilst we undertake the necessary repairs to have the bridge reopened as quickly as possible.